Okay, the question is from Studio 14 Sessions. Studio 14 Sessions says... Um, it is a tips and advice for music educators and music students. The goal of the channel is to grow music education um, by growing the people in it. And the question is, I did the keyword research to identify the best keywords for my videos. Can, ex can you please explain how to actually place them in your title? Does it matter where they are? Okay, that's a fantastic question and I'm glad that you asked. Okay, so when it comes to your keywords and where you need to put them in your, in your titles, um, a few things I want you to think about. So when it comes to ranking videos in search, you have to get people to click on what it is that you're doing. So I'm trying to think of how to explain this out. Okay, so when it comes to getting people to, 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 or when it comes to maintaining a ranking in search, people have to click on what it is that you're doing and watch it. But the watch part has nothing to do with the actual placement of the keywords, but getting them to click does. So what you wanna think about is your keyword is definitely giving YouTube context to what your video is about, okay? So that is a win to actually have your keyword or your keyword phrase so that they their system can have context that that is what your video is about. Now, the other part of that equation is in addition to the system, in, to, in, in addition to YouTube having the idea or, or, or an understanding of what your video is about topically, it's more important to have the people that are looking for that identify that the video that you just published or the video that you are trying to rank in search is the right video for them. So because of that, when it comes to your keywords, you wanna put them as close to the front of the title as possible if you are targeting an English speaking audience. And the reason for that is because in English, we read from left to right. So when you are trying to grab somebody's attention, you want the thing that they are searching for to be one of the first things that they see. Now. Keep in mind, based on the thumbnail and the title and how they work together and the additional compelling elements that are being added to the thumbnail or that are being added to the title, one of the things that can also happen in that situation is if yours isn't that compelling, but you do have the keywords at the front, well, then people might end up clicking on the other ones that are more compelling, even though you're grabbing their attention to yours. So they might see yours, they might identify that, hey, this, this is exactly what I just put into search. This is exactly what it is that I'm looking for. But then there's these other videos, these five other videos on the screen um, or 10, or if you start scrolling, there's even more, but there's these other videos on the screen that might have the same exact keyword phrase that you have or this, be targeting the same exact keyword. So then what you have to think is, okay, now my keyword is easily and, and, and quickly identifiable, but now I need to take it a step further and think, okay, how can I put my keyword or keyword phrase in here, but then make my title so compelling that when it shows up next to these other videos here, that it's going to be compelling enough to make people want to click on mine compared to the other ones that are here. And once you crack that nut, then that's when you start getting people to start clicking on your videos way more. And here's the thing, when it comes to search, Sometimes you'll nail it. Sometimes you'll outrank everybody. Um, sometimes you'll outrank everybody with a few different videos. Sometimes you'll just get smoked because other people that are targeting that specific term, they just can wrap their package up a little bit better than you can. And you just don't, no matter how many times you go for that term, you just can't seem to, you just can't seem to get in there because people just don't respond to yours as well as they respond to others. But that's where targeting search on a regular basis comes in really handy. And also when you're thinking of, uh, and I have a whole section about this in the course that I'm coming out with. And again, a link um, to sign up to be notified when that goes live is down in the description. It's really soon. Um, and I keep pushing it off a little bit just because I'm adding to it. YouTube just made some changes um, to like series playlists and things like that, which was a whole section by itself. So I have to I have to redo that section. Little things like that is kind of delaying it a little bit, but I promise it's coming soon. Um, but anyway, like um, one of the things that I talk about in there also is, you know, you'll hear some people that talk about YouTube some people will talk about the importance of targeting search, and it is important. You'll hear other people talk about the importance of targeting recommendations, which recommendation features are also important. What I talk about in the course and what I'm getting ready to share with you here is you wanna think of how they work together and how you can do both, right? So if you're targeting search and you make your, you include your keyword phrase and all that, so it's clear to YouTube what your video is about, you can get people to respond to it in search, but then, and of course I talk in more detail about this in the course, but when you are putting that package together and you are targeting um, something for search, if you can wrap that entire package up with your title and thumbnail in a way that's so compelling that not only will people click on it when it's presented to them in search, but you are focused, you've written, you've made 10 different thumbnails, you've written 50 different titles, and you figured out like, okay, 
this is definitely going to stop somebody in their tracks when they're scrolling. This is definitely going to grab attention when it shows up in search. This thumbnail with this specific title, these are going to work together so good to create a contrasting idea or to illustrate an idea super clearly that people are going to have that are interested in this topic are going to have no choice but to click on this. When you do that and you wrap that package up because you include your keyword or keyword phrase, but then you add something that's so compelling to the title and or the thumbnail, then what you do in that situation, you give yourself the opportunity to rank in well in search, but then you also give yourself the chance to double or triple dip into browse features and other recommendation features as well, so that anywhere you show up on the platform, you end up winning the click, maybe not every time, but you end up winning the click at a high rate because the way that you're packaging up your content is very well targeted and it's also very compelling, which then causes you to be effective everywhere your content shows up for whatever type of content it is that you make. So that's the approach that you want to take when it comes to, when it comes to you know, packaging your content up, when it comes to you know, targeting search, is when you're targeting search, that's one way to get traffic. And it's, I can't even put into words how effective it is, super effective. But if you can get your videos to perform well and get people to click and search, then you can make sure that you can also, you know, make them compelling enough as an, as an entire package, title, thumbnail, and, uh, and, and uh, topic, title, and thumbnail, that they come together as such a good package that people respond to them, you know, wherever it is that you are, um, uh, wherever it is that they're being presented those on the platform. So then in that case, you're going for discovery. You're not just going for ranking. You're going for just full brute force discovery at that, at that point in time, because you're not just saying, Hey, I'm just targeting search, um, which you, you know, I mean, you can, you want to, you know, know where it is that your primary is, but it's like, you know, I'm not just targeting search. Like I'm going for like brute force discovery on this. It's not just, search. I'm trying to get search. I'm trying to get somebody's attention on their home pages and you know what I'm being recommended next to other content. For tools and resources to help you with your YouTube channel, make sure you check the links in the description of this video and to have your question answered live, join us Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern.